Suddenly, abandoned desert farmland is green again. Suddenly, shrimp and fish are being grown for food and profit. Meadows are lush again with oilseed crops for vegetable oil and biofuels. Suddenly, there are thousands of new jobs, all where yesterday there was nothing but wasted, waterless desert. So, what happened? This is northwestern Mexico, the desert coast of the Gulf of California, the Sea of Cortez. Once farmlands irrigated with fresh water, and then suddenly abandoned when the water table dropped. But today it is becoming green and productive again, with water, seawater. That's what happened. It began with a concept, a careful vision of the future, a river from the sea running inland, saving the beachfront for hotels and resorts. It uses seawater in ponds to grow shrimp and fish, a different kind of farm livestock, and in turn uses the fertilized seawater to grow salicornia, a crop that provides biofuels for cars and trucks and aircraft, all in a system that absorbs carbon from the atmosphere. It didn't just happen overnight. We started in Arizona and Mexico, and in 1999, we moved on to Africa. In Eritrea, we created Seawater Farms Eritrea, a joint project of the government of Eritrea and a predecessor to Global Seawater Inc. There, we produced jobs, we created wealth, we produced food, and we did environmental enhancement for the country and the people. And we knew then what we're doing has implications to solve global scale environmental problems. In 2002, I was filmed standing on a rope bridge at Seawater Farms Eritrea at the edge of the Red Sea. I tossed a stick into the world's first, very small, seawater river. A river flowing inland from the ocean to provide the seawater for growing shrimp, fish, and other aquatic products and the effluent from that to irrigate seawater forest, a forest of mangrove trees and large meadows of salicornia. Salicornia is a crop that provides a high quality vegetable oil for sea forest biodiesel. Hodges is filmed on another river from the sea. But this river, is 500 times the size of the one in Eritrea. The Rio Neninger runs 13 kilometers inland at San Nicolas, Bahia Quino, in northwest Mexico. It feeds seawater to 2,500 hectares of shrimp farms, now being expanded. From these ponds, the effluent was simply discharged back into the sea. All of this effluent will be kept inland. The fertilized water used to grow the cash crops of Salicornia, not only producing biofuels, but absorbing carbon from the atmosphere, returning it to the desert soil that desperately needs rejuvenation. Global warming is real. The modest annual rise in sea levels is real, as are the increasing shortages of fresh water. And what we are working on is how to deal with these issues. This is what these integrated seawater farms are about. Using water from the sea to grow shrimp and fish and biofuels, preserving fresh water, and removing carbon from the atmosphere, even reducing the rate of sea level rise by pumping salt water onshore. But to many people in many countries, what is most important are the jobs that seawater farms generate. Jobs in coastal deserts where jobs are desperately needed. Jobs growing cash crops for export, boosting the local economy. Abandoned farmlands like those at Bahia Quino in Mexico now represent not the end of things, but the beginning. <laughs> 